Tech Rabbit here. Look what we have here. This is um, a Nintendo Wii, and it's actually the first first iteration of the Nintendo Wii. And, um, let's see, what was it called? It's um, RVL Strike Dash Zero Zero One, and that's the um, model number in Europe this box. And, um, it's actually quite heavy. I wouldn't have thought the Wii would actually be so heavy. And then it has a CD port. And it has a cover. And then you can put controllers on there. And then I think this is for cartridges. Really short. And then on the back it has um, uh, its power. And then a very custom connector for video, audio, and then an antenna connection, and then a few USB ports. I'm not really sure what this one's for. There's only an export on Wii. And um, actually, did come with the accessories also. So this is on loan from a my um, relatives. So, <laughs> power block, power brick. Looks like it only goes in one way. this very weird looking antenna thing and I think this is so that you can position it wherever you want so that it can uh, work with the controllers wirelessly and it also has a red connector just slots in there like that really long oh, it's gonna be a mess This is where it gets exciting. So this is the, this is the output for the audio video, and as you see, it's not exactly a HDMI. And um, then it comes to an adapter, and as you see, if those that have been around for a longer time you will probably recognize this. This is a SCART connector, and it was very common in all analog old TVs. And um, no, not so common. And this has then video, audio, right and left. So I think I'll keep that plugged in there for now. So, and then that goes in there. So, so far, so good. And um, comes with a few controllers. As I said, I'm not really a V specialist, so it comes with all these. Control mode there, a couple of buttons. And then where does this one plug in into? So where does this plug into? Just 
the quartz slot. Fascinating. Any more? Hidden openings that I missed. Oh, I actually don't know where this plugs in. Ah, I think I might have a might have an idea though. Oh, this cover is really in bad shape. Because it yes. Okay, here it comes with this this controller here. So I think this is wireless and then here you have a connector where you can presume plug that in there. Okay, that's one. So you do have a okay then you have okay the dual experience somehow. And then um it's like opening Christmas present. does come with one game, and this is actually a CD based game. So, it's a CD. So, um, so far so good. Now then, the only problem is that, as you can see, this is not um, compatible with modern audiovisual equipment, so... No HDMI. So then we actually have magical box. And we see that we have interesting stuff. Oh, actual unit. And this shows that it's going towards HDMI. So that looks good. So, I think this looks very useful, doesn't it? Three RCA connectors. And it actually comes with a bunch of accessories, so you can actually, um, I think that's a video also, kind of old style video input. So you can either do it with RCA connectors or you can have the video through cable. And then it comes with the power supply. Also. And then this module, it, um, I think that was the option. You see, this has upscaling, so you can do 720p or um, 1080p, so you can actually make it scale between those two. So get the original video picture to scale up to what would be more acceptable for HDMI. But we actually don't need those two cables. But as I said, this can be used to connect other analog um, video stuff. I think I actually do have an old video camera that has some analog um, connection on. So let's see now. So this is the power. Go in to there. And then let's see if these are marked. So now they've been connected, so I actually have to make sure. I'm just going to double check that the color coding is probably uh, right, right and left. Yep, so it's the RCA color coding is, well, is indicating what they are for, if it's video or 
Okay, so then we remove that. And then we plug in the relevant circuits. And what else do we need? So, um, yeah, this is not the picture from the Wii yet, but at least the box has started now and I've got the HDMI going into a HDMI switch so I can actually uh, control uh, what goes to here and I actually have to switch uh, what's the on button on this one? it's this one so it's doing something and then I'll try and switch to HDMI Let's see if we get any Signal. Oh, look at that! And then we need. I'm not sure what upscale is being used. The button's a bit unclear. It does say 1080p up there, very. Really. Well, that was helpful. So that box sends a little text saying what mode it's in. Okay, so... Now we should press A. Press A to continue. Here, what is A? Ah, there. Ah, of course, everybody who's used Wii knows what it is about. <laughs> oh, okay. Makes it really difficult for me to see. But, um,. figured out I need to have this antenna and then you know, actually use this to point and of course then this this place is not really good, very good to do this see you get the hand curse no I was into the wireless settings so I'm gonna set this up on the wireless network so that's how that works so it took me a little while to understand so this this doesn't do anything useful you know, from selecting menus and stuff and then you use the A button to select. But anyway, the main purpose of this video was to show this magical box. So this is upscaling to um, 180p, and it seems to make quite a good picture compared, taking into account that the resol video resolution on, on this one is for old analog type SCART TVs. So what was it, six, 640 times 300 or something? So I think that's a relatively good job of upscaling. So. So if you also need to connect an old Wii or, or other older um, audio-video devices to HDMI, then I can um, recommend this box. It's actually quite a simple solution. So anyway, if you thought this video was useful, then um, consider subscribing. Um, hit the like button. Um, if you'd like to support the channel and the possibility to buy me a cup of coffee or buy some uh, merch, the links are in the description. And um, I'll see you in the next one.